you right guys, welcome back to Alternative Inverts. Uh, so it's Kieran here for anyone who doesn't know. Thank you for joining and watching this video. So today, um, I just want to give you a little bit of an update. There's not much to the video to be honest. Um, as a lot of you know and I've mentioned previously, we've been moving house into our new abode. So I just wanted to give you um, an update on the invert room. So as you know before, they were all in the living room. Now we have moved our spiders and other inverts into an invert room. So I want to show you around, show you what it's like, see what you think. Um, I've got a few more ideas of things that I want to do, so I'll share that with you. Um, and then also we would like to find a name for this room, which we will get been put on like I've got an idea, maybe a little plaque, how I want it. I think I want um, to get somebody who does that, you know, when they're burning into the wood. I can't remember what it's called, like pyrography or some something, I don't know. That's just me making shit up, sorry for the language, but it is. And then we will continue as normal from next week where we'll actually have um, some more interesting footage. We'll get a few more feeding clips. Oh, a mature male. Poclotheria regardless has arrived today and we are going to be breeding that with our female. So that's something to look forward to. Um, if you liked the video that we did with the Hysterocrates Gigas, if you liked that video, something similar will be coming with the Poclotheria. Hopefully it's successful. We've also got the Brighton Show, which is next weekend. So it's going to be a long, long, long weekend for me. Um, I'm actually away down south on, well, sort of down south on mm -hmm. Friday doing a gig. Then Saturday doing a gig. So we're staying over Friday, traveling to the next gig on Saturday, and then staying over on Saturday. Um, and Rachel will be meeting me down there. And then on Sunday morning, we'll get up and we've still, even though it's staying safe, we've still got another three and a half hours drive to get to the Brighton show on the 17th. So Spider Shop, I've kindly asked us if we wanted to get down there early uh, so we can get in, get some good footage of everybody there, people coming in at the show and then spend the day throughout the show getting more footage and people and mingling. So it gives me that little bit of time to collect what I need to collect and then concentrate on meeting people and getting some good footage of the show to share with you guys as well. You will see the details for the show on the screen somewhere. If you can, if it's not too far, if you don't mind the travel, if you're not busy, if you want to see a load of cool inverts, loads of spiders, loads of centipedes, millipedes, beetles, whatever you can think of, it's there. Then make sure you go and check it out and we will see you there. If you do go or you're already going, make sure you come and say hello. I will have a few more t-shirts and stuff with me again like I did for the Eastern show. Uh, we've actually had some new ones now done. So we've got black and green, black and white, white and black, and we're just gonna just give a few of them out or something. So come and say holla and yeah. So let's take a quick look around and see what you guys think. So guys, over here we've just put some nice poster up of all the uh, Poclotheria species and some malts down here as well. Up here we have a uh, female Balfouri which is going to be bred soon too. We have uh, Ceratogyrus uh, Marshelli which we've just rehearsed. Uh, just put her in here um, and I did record it but unfortunately I lost a load of the footage um, so you won't be seeing that video but yeah. I'll give you an update on this girl. She's absolutely lovely and that abdomen is huge. But she's an absolutely lovely girl. Uh, we have the uh, Canthoscura geniculata female, which again will be bred shortly with our mature male, Baz. This is the uh, Chromatopelma cernia pubescens. Um, so I actually, I've won some enclosures from Tarantula Room for a competition uh, which was hosted in Exotic Pets and Enclosure Designs Group and I actually came in the top three so I've won some enclosures which I'll be collecting at the Bristol show for the Alien vs Predator enclosure. 
and the spider is just up here but she's in heavy pre-molt and she's just webbed herself away in the corner down here we've got the cobalt blue we've got our female Dorier uh, who I'm looking to hopefully get a male for soon Minax Marinus OBT uh, Platyoma male uh, immature male um, a few of these that the husbandry is not great for I need to actually redo the um, rehouse them so I'm going to be rehousing the Minax I'm going to be rehousing the do, 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 Lividus as well giving it a lot more substrate and enough more room to burrow although as I haven't tended to burrow anywhere there is still a few inches of substrate at the back haven't even bothered burrowing they do, do prefer to stay at the back um, or come down the front and have a stroll the Lividus has burrowed however uh, Doria has made an actually really really cool um, burrow it's amazing but you'll see that in a clip that I'm using for fatal fangs so watch this we've got all of our slings and stuff down here and at the back we've got another Doria as well over here uh, unsex that one is Hattie Hattie uh, another panther which I'm not sure I think is another male I just need to sex the malt that's the Pamphobetus Cas uh, Cascada uh, Bohemi uh, Kilobrachius Electric Blue which has made quite a cool burrow and everything going around the enclosure have some blue death fanning, uh, fanning beetles uh, loving life uh, they just chill bops around all day some not so common species down here as well um, so as they get bigger it'll be absolutely fantastic to see we've got the Hysterocrates Gigas um, which hopefully will be dropping me a sack uh, end of November or in December uh, from the pairing video that you would may have seen if you haven't go check it out I will put that video at the end of this video so you got the little thumbnail to click on to it's good got quite good footage not blowing my own trumpet but you can see um, the pairing up close and personal Carpentary, Everetti, I'd love to be able to breed her um, I'm just looking for a mature male uh, the Regis, which is a jumping spider. Rachel's decided to call him V neck because he's a jumper. Ha, huh. funny. Um, Shadetti female, who may also be paired shortly, you will find out. Uh, Saba Blue, Carpentary again, Rufus female, all of these are females. And then we've got our other little special guest down here. We have our Burmese python. Albino Burmese Python and she's called Betty so we've got Betty the Burn and she's loving her life in this enclosure as well so uh, you can't really see much but yeah sorry the reflection blah 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 but yeah plenty of space loves life absolutely fantastic and she's really really tame and friendly as well got a mature male uh, regardless which I need to set up an enclosure ready, so I've just sort of put him in here for now until I've got another enclosure set up. That came today. And we've got our female Poclotheria regardless down there, who has been absolutely eating like a trooper. I've been feeding her, um, you know, I fed her yesterday as well. I've dropped a couple of red runners in today, and then I'll leave it a day and then a day or two and then feed her again. Just so when we pair her with this guy after he's settled in, um, hopefully she won't chew him but uh, yeah they are quite uh, easy to breed apparently so we'll soon find out um, so some of the things that I want to do to the room I want to add an alternative inverts logo on the wall here I'm not sure whether I'm going to stencil it cut it out and spray paint it on myself um, stuff like that I can pretty much do myself because from when I used to do a lot of graffiti art, I've still got a lot of spray paint left. Um, or whether to just order it as a vinyl, just to save my time. And we want that just going over here on the wall, above the workstation, where we will be doing all of our rehousings, etc. And it also goes up and down. 
and it goes quite high as well. I think it goes just underneath that shelf, so it goes head out, saves my back and all that crap. Um, what else do we want to do? Uh, well, finally I've got the temperature set, so it took about three days to get the temps right, um, but now it's sitting at um, around 25, 26 degrees um, during the day. Um, it gets tends to hit a look around 26 degrees over there where we've got the slings and then it sort of fades down a little bit and reaches to about 24, 25 on this end of the room. Um, and over night time, the temps seem to drop and stay around 23, uh, 22 to 23 degrees, which is pretty much perfect, um, sometimes 22. So anywhere between, tw as long as it's between 20 um, and 20, 23 degrees, it's, it's about right for a night time and then anything even I is even better for the day. Um, as long as it doesn't peak too much. We've got a fan over here as well just to circulate the air so it's not just warm, dead air. It's actually getting blown around a little bit of a breeze and fresh air coming in. Um, let's check the temps actually while we're at it. Let's see what they are like. So if I was to just shine it through here into one of the enclosures there we go, so it's at about 23.6 um, and it's a night, so that's sound not bad at all and we've got that sitting like that now every day so I've been checking, monitoring it, making sure uh, throughout the day that it, it stays at that level and then drops throughout the night and I've monitored it over three days as well and it's been absolutely fantastic so I've used smart plugs um, for the heater plugged a thermostat into the smart plug um, in the extension behind the enclosures and then when the temps drop that heater as well as the radiator constantly being on uh, that heater will kick in and then when temperatures are hit if it goes above they will switch it off so it just comes on as it pleases throughout the day if I know it's a little bit cold, cooler as well I can always um, activate it from my app on my phone whenever I feel like it as well so yeah nice and easy finally got it sorted haven't had an electric bill yet because we've only just moved in so god knows how it's going to turn out but inverts come first right so another thing I've been doing as well other than the house move and setting this bad boy up I've also uh, still been gigging as well so we're doing a Halloween show which was absolutely hilarious um, I'm going to show you a little clip of it. I was dressed up as the one and only Ali G. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the entrance to us coming out on stage, or maybe even a little bit from the gig. Check it out. Respect. in another 10 years mm. Kieran nice to see her and look how pretty you looked when you were younger uh, yeah and that is about it guys so if you're at the show say hello um, come and grab a t-shirt you know we'll have a drink beer if there is any can't remember if there is any at the shows uh, actually I'll probably be hanging already so no and um, yeah, always welcome for a chat and I will see you there. 
If not, check out our next video. I promise it will be more exciting again. Go check out some of the, the pairing video from the History of Gigas and any of our other videos so you can see what sort of things you can expect. Um, but in a better environment now, make my life easier rather than being in the living room. So guys, once again, thank you from me and I'll see you again soon. Cheers guys.